Okay, we're going to do a problem with the chi-square test. And we'll start with collecting data for two qualitative variables. We'll cross-tabulate those values with the observed values in each cell of the table. Then we'll obtain expected values, that is, values we would expect if there were no relationship between the two qualitative variables. Sometimes we can eyeball that, but if we can, just take the row total times the column total, multiply those together, and divide by the overall total to obtain the expected values. Then we use the chi-square formula to compare the expected values to the values obtained. Of course, we'll compare that to a critical value. Bottom line is if those observed values are close to what we would expect, if there were no relationship, then the null hypothesis, that is that there is no relationship, is plausible. If the difference between observed values and the values we would expect if there were no relationship that's a large difference, then we'll reject HO and conclude that the two qualitative variables are related. So here we have some data. We're looking at a cross-tabulation of personality type and management level. Management level is a categorical variable or a qualitative variable with three categories, upper, mid, and lower. And personality type is divided into extrovert and introvert. So we just have counts here. 65 managers who were upper managers who were extroverts, 35 upper managers who were introverts, and so on. You can see along the outside, highlighted in white, I've just calculated the number of values in each column and row. So our hypothesis, our research hypothesis, is that personality type and management level, the two qualitative variables, are related. HO is that they are not related. Okay, chi-square is another table where we need degrees of freedom. We'll calculate that as the number of rows in the table, minus 1, times the number of columns in the table, minus 1. In this case, there were three rows. Remember, we had three management levels and two columns, the two personality, introvert and extrovert. Anyway, that comes out to be two degrees of freedom. And then with alpha O5, we're going to reject HO if the chi-square test is greater than 5.99. So the expected values are what would be expected if the null hypothesis were true and if there were no relationship between the two qualitative variables. So, then we had in the shaded white the totals for each column and row. So for the first cell there with expected value will equal the row total of 100 times the column total of 715 divided by the overall total of 1,000. In the second cell, 400 is the row total, 715 the column total divided by 1,000 is 286. And once we have those two, the rest of them we can just get by subtraction and addition. In other words, if we had 71.5 upper managers, and we knew there were a total of 100, then that only leads 28.5. And so we can compute the rest of them similarly. Of course, we could do the expected. Of course, we could do the row total times column total over overall total for every one of these. This just simplifies it into doing some fairly simple addition and subtraction. Okay, so the chi-square test is equal to the sum of the observed minus expected values squared divided by expected. So just look at the top there. We're taking each observed value and subtracting, finding the difference between that and what we would expect if there were no relationship between the two. Those are close to one another, then we think there isn't a relationship. If they're far apart, then we will think that there is a relationship between the two qualitative variables. So what I've done here is just rearrange the data from the observed and expected values we had from each cell. Remember, the first cell had an observed of 65 and an expected of 71.5. The next cell had 35 and an expected of 28.5, and so on. Then I take for each one, observed minus expected, 65 minus 71.5 is minus 6.5. Then I square it to get 42.25, and then I divide that by the expected value, in this case 
to get 0 0.59. I do that for each cell and then I sum them up to get a chi-square test of 35.7. If you watch me do this in a class, you, I'll probably do this with each one of these values within each cell of the table. Then just circle the like the 0.59, the 1.48, and so on, and add them up. Really doesn't make out any difference how you do it, as long as you follow the observed minus expected squared divided by expected for each cell and then add them up. So I got the 35.7, which is greater than 5.99. I reject HO, conclude there is a relationship between the two qualitative variables. That's it for the chi-square.